Okay. Is everybody here? Okay. You want to lead the pledge? Just to say, yeah. All right. As soon as I call to order, I'll call on you to lead the pledge. Hello. It's time. Seven o'clock. Officially. All right. Smithville Board of Aldermen meetings now called to order. Please stand and join Sergeant Johnson in the pledge. Say for like, so you can. Chief, pleasure. You all can sit down. Um, it, it's been no uh, no big secret that uh, we filled several vacancies over the last uh, eighteen months, and uh, tonight we're going to fill another one. So, Alex, you want to come up here? Alex Johnson uh, has been with Smithville Police Department for six years. Um, he was one of our first peer-to-peer uh, -peer support team members um, four years ago, almost five, almost five years ago. Uh, he's been a field training officer for at least four of those years, uh, a crucial part of the team in, in training new officers and uh, onboarding new staff. Uh, he's been both a, a support position and firearms instructor and a lead position as a firearms instructor. And uh, recently he's uh, stepped into the role as a de-escalation instructor as well and kind of meld all those together. Um, so that made him a natural uh, selection for the position of Sergeant. And I'm gonna invite his wife, Shelby and kids to come up here and pin his Sergeant's badge on him for the first time tonight. Make sure you draw blood, so it's official. <laughs> 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 That's when you hit it hard. Small mom and dad. <laughs> Get everybody in there. We actually have two proclamations tonight. Uh, Constitution Week. Uh, they were not able to make it, so somebody will pick it up. They're out sick. Uh, September 17th through 23rd is Constitution Week. We acknowledge that every year, and we do have a proclamation um, for them to pick up for the Daughters of the American Revolution, so Wendell, coordinate with them. The second one is another Public Works Week. I think this is our fifth one this month, this year. Chuck, did you have somebody coming? Is Bob or anybody coming? Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, I'll just go visit them and uh, bring this to Bob and them. So September 11th through 17th is Water and Wastewater Treatment Professionals Week in the state of Missouri is proclaimed by Governor Parsons. So I will try to stop by the plant and get that to them. So thank you all for all that they do, especially on days like today when they have to fix a valve and miss a meeting. So next item on the agenda is the two-page consent agenda. I have a motion to approve the consent agenda. Alderman Hartman. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving the consent agenda say aye. 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 All, opposed, all opposed say no. Consent agenda carries. Next item is the city administrator's report. Ms. Wagner, do you have anything to report? 
I just have a few items to follow up on from the information printed in the packet. Um, but first, as Chuck indicated, um, we do have a piece of equipment that um, it's a, a valve that does not want to shut all the way. It is a 16, 16 inch valve and it's 15 years old. The contractor is recommending replacement it would probably be about $10,000. So as we have additional information on that, you may see that um, it, this may show up as an acknowledgement of an emergency purchase uh, after the fact, because it's probably something we need to keep going. So we will have that information to you as soon as we have additional information. You've probably seen on social media and also in my report, um, we are seeking mark, or excuse me, public comment related to the MARC grants we applied for. Uh, information is included both in the weekly report as well as the um, on our website where you can go to provide comment on the four applications that we've applied for for MARC grant funding. Those are the Bridge Street Roundabout, Pope Lane Extension, Riverwalk Park, and Second Creek Sidewalk. Um, you also notice attached to the agenda this week or linked to the agenda, the planning calendar for future meetings has been filled in a bit. Following our discussion at the last meeting of the budget and board direction to move forward um, with uh, bringing the budget as presented in the city administrator's recommendation with some changes that we've, we've identified, um, as staff, we sat down last week and started looking at when we'll bid projects, when things make sense for um, timing. And so the planning calendar is populated to indicate that. So we've got kind of a work plan ahead of us. One thing I might note, and I note in the report, we are not only looking at from a personnel standpoint, we are recruiting for those positions we are adding so that we can hopefully have someone available to start after November 1st with the difficulties in recruiting right now. So we've started recruitment on two of the three positions um, that are included in the 2023 budget. The third position we will recruit for, begin recruitment once we have hired the recreation manager. Uh, we had interviews a week and a half ago. I met with someone, we have, an ex we have extended an offer and we are awaiting response on that. Uh, so once that person is hired and in position, because the recreation coordinator position will report to that position, we want them involved in that process. The other item that we as staff are looking at, we've had several discussions of um, delays to pretty significant projects because we don't have parts come in or we're awaiting um, shipment or delivery of large pieces of those. Chuck has been working with HDR to identify similar items that might be in projects that we have upcoming. So we anticipate bringing to you all multiple bids for projects potentially. Those areas where we identify equipment that we could purchase separately and spec in the construction project so that we could go ahead and get those under order to keep the projects moving at a minimum on that. So um, you'll anticipate those over the coming um, several months. Just a couple of additional notes of items included in the report and in upcoming meetings uh, or events. Bulky item pickup is the week of October 3rd. So that'll be coming up here in about a month. And we have information on household hazardous waste. We aren't holding the fall event. That's in Liberty, but the date's in the packet as well. And um, as you'll note on the planning calendar, um, we will have review of the process for approval of fireworks displays on the October 4th um, work session. You'll note uh, on the consent agenda that you all approved just a moment ago, there are three fireworks requests. So we have a number of those. And at the time we had those first requests, we had a request to let some time pass, see how those worked out, and maybe look at Mord's administrative review and approval of that. So we'll bring forward that information later in the month. And I believe that is my report. Thank you. So in front of a couple of you, there are some uh, MoDOT paperwork. If you can sign the two copies you have and then pass it to the person next to you, and then pass them this way. Uh, I'll get those over to Chevalier and then Alderman Atkins, Alderman Hartman do the same. Mr. Mayor, before you move on, one other item I forgot because my yeah, computer yeah. screen was blocking it. Yeah, if if you want to note, so if you'll recall back in May, APWA um, recognized our uh, streetscape project as Public Works Project of the Year Award, 
and we received the actual award. Um, and so we'll, we're working to find an appropriate place to display this and many upcoming awards um, in the future. It would really pop against a green wall, but Chuck doesn't have that anymore. So we'll have to <laughs> use whatever wall we can. At least it's a real thing that doesn't just get stickers like Steven's awards. Like Steven just gets stickers. We need to get him an award every year. That plaque is marble, by the way. Oh, it's marble? They're gold, real gold? Gold buttons, okay. yeah. yeah. I think you should get and a real marble plaque every year for the budget. It's a wax. Not just a sticker. Have you got more stickers yet than the previous guy? Why these three first? Let's go to John. Let's go to John. You want to use mine? All right. Pass those down to those two. All right. It's John. It's all for you, Chief. No doubt ones. All right. Dog's barking. All right, lots of signatures. Alderman Russell, Linda will make uh, time for you to get these signed as well. Okay, thank you. Next item on the agenda is number six. Alderman Hartman. <laughs> Let's get that up. Okay, Mayor. I'd like to make a motion for bill number 2955-22 amending section 225.090 smoking in city park second reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Yes, sir. Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Russell. Aye. Alderman Shipley. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Alderman Hartman. Aye. Alderman Uledal. Aye. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Six zero. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance amending section 225.090 to include a regulation stating that smoking is prohibited at all indoor and outdoor parks and facilities, except at individual campsites at the campground or as allowed by permit issued by the Board of Aldermen. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number seven. Alderman Uledal. Motion to approve bill number 2956-22 budget amendment number five, second reading. Thank you. Do I have a second? Alderman Hartman. Mayor, I second. Any discussion? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Alderman Uledal. Aye. Alderman Russell? Aye. Alderman Shipley? Alderman Hartman? Aye. Six zero. Motion carries. Ms. Wagner, please read the bill. An ordinance amending the fiscal 22 operating budget to add $200,000 to the expenditure budget and $15,000 to the revenue budget. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number eight. Thank you. Alderman Chevalier. Thank you. I move to approve resolution 1116 to amend the MOU with Main Street District. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Ooh, I think you all got gotcha. you. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution 1116, say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Welcome back. Next item on the agenda is number nine. Alderman Uledal. Motion to approve resolution 1117, change order. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Carbon. I think got Alderman it. Russell got you there, Dan. You're too slow on the all right. Uh, any discussion? 
No. All those in favor of approving resolution 1117 say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Any public comment? Any new business? One thing, just to give you all a heads up, it is on the planning calendar, uh, February 23rd, correct? It's the day. We will have a legacy fund dinner in partnership with the Chambers Awards Dinner. Some of you all have attended that in the past. Uh, this is a fundraiser, so Matt can have more money for beautiful parks, right? So he's been out there promoting uh, the parks and putting out QR codes and standing in the rain and doing what he can do to help that. So, and the Legacy Fund Board has been out there and, and Parks Board members. So please attend if you can, the city will have a table, um, but I encourage you all to try to find some uh, silent auction items and good stuff to get out there for us. So if there's no uh, other business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Alderman Hartman. Uh, Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. All in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 All, opposed say, all opposed say no. Stand adjourned. Have a good evening. Way too long. I was trying to extend it out as long as possible.